Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony. I hope you are doing well. Today I am at one of the nurseries in Arkansas, Central Arkansas, actually. Uh, this nursery is in Conway, Arkansas. It's called the Plant Outlet. I have been here several times, including in the spring, so I just want to check them out during the summer. During the summer, of course, most nurseries don't have a lot of plants out. However, this nursery is full of plants and I'm going to do a walkthrough of this nursery and talk with you about some of the plants that I've encountered and see what you guys think about this nursery. So hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more plant content. Okay, you guys, let's get started. So I am in their Hoya section and they have quite a few hanging baskets of Hoya Katusiae um, on this look like a iron wheel here, which is pretty cool. Down here, they have some aluminum plants as well as syngonium. Most of these plants are very healthy despite it being like 110 degrees outside. The nursery itself is hot, you guys. However, they do have fans that are blowing, which is nice. Here's a little uh, palm here. It is $10. Now, let's just say that since their plants are still very healthy, the price does reflect that. Some of the price on these plants are a lot higher than the big box stores. Look at these beautiful alocasia. Very interesting. They also have some black velvet allocation on the right there. I have my allocations currently outside and they are doing okay. Uh, my allocation Halo Beauty is growing and putting out new leaf. Uh, this here is a pink dragon, I believe. And here is uh, not a fry deck, but uh, the name of it is slipping my mind right now. It's a long name. So this is their alocasia section and next to that are the acronemas. Most of these can be found at Lowe's and Walmart. They are gorgeous, very easy to take care of in your home, very low maintenance compared to other houseplants. And over here on the right, they have more hanging baskets of Hoya and a bunch of snake plants, a variety of snake plant. The one that I just touched is $50. And I want to add that into my collection so bad, but that price is too high for me at this time. I think I have the rest of the clay, uh, not clay, yeah, but the um, Sansevieria. I will show you guys my Sansevieria collection one day. Now we are heading into the Aeroid section. They have a lot of stuff here that are so cool. They have some philodendron for the green over there. I think my favorite must be their philodendron summer glory. This philodendron is um, or was released sometimes last year. The price has been fluctuating between somewhere around $15 to $25 online. The most uh, spectacular thing about this plant is its new leaf. Every time I put out a new leaf, you guys guess this really nice coppery color leaf. It's beautiful. And I think the plant outlet is selling them for $30, which is the higher end uh, in terms of price for these plants. But they're, like I said, very healthy. Next to that, it looks like they have some Moonlight and Macaulay Finale or something like that. They have some Golden Goddesses back here. These plants were everywhere, including Walmart last year. And these plants, they are indestructible. Love them. They give that neon color, kind of like the neon pothos. Here's a six inch bass um, pot of <laughs> Philodendron Mykins for $20. They have Monstera Peru, Syndapsis, Monstera Addisonii. And here is another Philodendron for the green. On this side are the snake plants I've shown you. They have more on this side. Love this black one, so cool. Up here are some six inch baskets of Hoya. 
splash and they have some well fin sense of area here sometimes these are called shark fins either way they can they're huge and they're a statement piece i got mine last year not here but in little rock arkansas for 30 dollars and um now they are everywhere which is pretty cool um there are the more uncommon sense of area around here anyway but look at this hoya bloom you guys i tried to kind of see if it has a scent but it doesn't this is a hoya crimson queen here's the baby well fin sense of area over here they have some strings of turtles for $36. They have regular Hindu rope for $25 and more Hoyas. Look at all of these plants, you guys. What do you guys think of this nursery? Okay, so this is the Hoya Splash, and this section here caught my eye. They have some edible fig trees as well as this passion fruit vine here. Looks like they have some papayas also. So cool. These are patio fruits. Uh, that's the name or the brand of uh, these plants here i think i'm gonna get the passion fruit fruit vine i have been looking for this for some times now even though it's just like a sprig and it costs 15 dollars, i think i'm gonna get it because i cannot find it in my local area and i've been looking for months now they are the passion fruit vine are outside plants so i have to bring that in during the summer month months but that's okay i love passion fruit and if you guys have not tried passion fruit out before you are missing out very flavorful citrusy fruit and you can add that to your drinks you can add that to you know your cooking i love adding it to my pepsi max if you haven't tried that before get a nice glass of ice put some pepsi max in there and a uh, teaspoon or tablespoon um, not a tablespoon of passion fruit in there and oh my god it is out of this world you guys and this is where i got my elephant stack one fern for 13 dollars i think the price is pretty comparable um to online websites Looks like most of, as you guys can see, most of these sack horn ferns are not in the best condition. Most of them have this like brown spot in the center. I think they might be rotting. I think mine was the last one that was healthy. Okay, in this section we have a lot of pathos. Starting off, this might be a silvery inn or a Pictus Archerius. Next to that is an Enjoy Pathos, Neon Pathos. This is amazing for summer. They have some Philodendron Silver Sore on the left there. More Mikans. And look at all these Syndapsis. This is a Syndapsis Exotica. I thought that was a splash, but it is not. I think they do have the splash somewhere around here, so we'll keep on looking and see if we encounter it. They have Monstera Deliciosa on the ground there, and they're selling them for, I think, around $49.99, which is kind of high for Monstera. Here is the regular Syndapsis, or Syndapsis Jade. The leaves are large compared to mine. They look really good. I already have one, so I'm not going to pick that up today. They have Lemon Lime, Brazil, more Monstera Asonii, and ZZ plants over here. They have the Raven ZZ also. No chameleons, more snake plants down here, as well as Monstera Deliciosa.
into this corner we have some crotons but I am shocked they have some plumerias here these are quite uh, large for a rooted cutting and they're selling them for $25 not bad of a deal I wish that they would label it and tell you the color of the bloom here are some ferns this whole section in fact is full of ferns and I'm just caught by surprise of how large this one is it looks like an Australian fern, maybe. I'm not too familiar with fern, but that's what it looks like to me. Beautiful plant, it looks so prehistoric. And uh, they have some peace lilies on this, or in this section as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. This is Tony. Please take care of yourself and your plans. And I'll see you in a future video. Bye.